welcome to my channel where it's children's books all the time. Um, if you're not already subscribed, please click that subscribe button and subscribe to this channel. And if you like a video, please select that like button so that I know which stories you guys enjoy the most. So welcome to my land of adventures and imagination. And I hope you guys love it. And I hope to read to you every week. Thank you. Hello, thank you for joining me for another story. Um, the name of the story that we are reading today is called My Dog's a Chicken. Um, the name of the author is Susan McElroy Montanari. So here it is. Very exciting book, you're gonna love it. So funny. Lola May wanted a puppy, but mama said, Dog's just another mouth to feed. There are hard times, Lola May. You've got to make do. Baby Barry sat on Mama's hip. Make do, he replied. So much going on. Lola May stared at the chickens scratching in the yard. She tapped her chin. Maybe a chicken could be a dog, she said. There she is with all of her chickens. Some chickens pecked at the dirt. Others prinned their feathers. But one strutted around like it owned the place. Now that's my kind of dog, said Lola May. As she crossed the yard, Lola May kept an eye on the chicken. The chicken kept two eyes on Lola May. <laughs> when she got close, Lola May grabbed it. Bark! 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 Flapping its wings up and down, the bird squacked. Lola May held on as it tried flying away. Nice doggy, she whispered, stroking its head. Lola May, what are you doing with that chicken? Papa hollered. And I ain't a chicken, Lola May answered back. It's a dog and her name is Pookie. Papa scratched his head. Mm. Mama said, call it anything you like, but it's not coming in this house. Baby Barry laughed. My house, he replied. Clapping a red ribbon on it, on Pookie's head, Lola May cooed. To be a show dog, my pretty little puppy needs a bow in her hair. Bark, 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 bark. I don't think Pookie's happy about being a dog. <laughs> Pookie jumped out of Lola May's arms and started running in circles. The other chickens huddled together and tried to stay out of her way. See, Lola May said to Mama and Papa, my dog's not just a show dog, she's a shepherd dog too. Papa shook his head. Mama said, call it anything you'd like, but it's not coming in my house. <laughs> Baby Barry clapped his hand. My house, he repeated. <laughs> <laughs> After lunch, Mama sat on the porch peeling potatoes. Lola May and Pookie relaxed under a pecan tree, reading a story to Baby Barry. Suddenly, Pookie started barking. Bark! Bark! There stood Cousin Tater holding a garter snake. Lola May shrieked, you are going to throw that snake on me. 
Tater looked down at the snake. No, I wasn't, he said. Just so you know, I got me a dog now, Lola Mae said. <laughs> that old stew chicken, Tater asked. She warned me about you and that creepy crawler, didn't she? Lola Mae replied. Did you see that, Mama and Papa? Pookie is a show dog, a shepherd dog, and a guard dog too. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Papa put his head <laughs> in his hands. Mama looked up from peeling and said, call it anything you like, but it's not coming in my house. Baby Barry didn't say anything. Baby Barry, Mama cried. Where's Baby Barry? Mama and Papa looked in the house, under the porch, and even behind the woodshed. Lola May and Tater searched the bushes and haystacks and even under the wheelbarrow. Where was Baby Barry? Do you hear that? Lola May asked. Bark! 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 <laughs> and out of the hen house strutted Pookie with baby Barry close behind. <laughs> They didn't expect Pookie to find baby Barry. Look, Lola Mae shouted, Pookie found baby Barry. She's a show dog, a shepherd dog, a guard dog, and a search and rescue dog too. <laughs> she sure was. That night, Mama laid a quilt at the bottom of Lola Mae's bed. Good night, sweet puppy, Lola Mae said. Closed her eyes. Mama patted Pookie's head and whispered, For a chicken, you're a one fine dog. Baby Barry giggled. One fine dog. Bark, bark, bark. The and I hope you guys enjoyed this story. I love this story because it's just fun, but it also says you can be whatever you want to be. It doesn't matter what you look like. It doesn't matter who they tell you you have to be. You can be whatever and whoever you want. If a chicken could be a dog, you could be anything. So thank you for joining me for another story. See you guys next time and have a good day. Bye.